Hello, thanks again for joining me, everyone. I'm here with Dr. Suad Eduada from Morocco, and we're going to be talking a little bit about her program, Morocco Migration and Transnational Identity. Thank you very much for joining me, Dr. Suad. If you want to take a moment to introduce yourself. Thank you, Ayan. Um, my name is Suad Eduada. I am born and raised in Rabat. And I have a PhD uh, from English department, Mohammed V University in Rabat. And I was uh, back in 2008. I was a, a postdoc fellow at the Institute of Advanced Study uh, in Princeton. And my background is in gender studies and uh, social movements in Morocco. Thanks very much. And can you uh, let us know what your role is for the Morocco Migration Program? For the Morocco Migration Program, I uh, run uh, the program since uh, 2008 uh, and my role is to uh, design the courses and uh, the excursions but also um, um, uh, work with the students uh, from the day they arrive to Morocco uh, until they start working on their ISP project and uh, I mean I work with them until the end of their experience uh, which lasts about I mean, a, a semester in, in Rabat. Thanks very much. Now, um, I want to talk to you a little bit about the program. Can you uh, share with us what you think makes your program unique in Rabat? I think what, what makes this program unique is both, uh, I mean, Morocco uh, and this time, uh, because now Morocco is becoming a, a land, not only uh, I mean, a, a country that sends migrants to Europe, but also a land of migration. So there are a lot of uh, people arriving from Africa, south of the Sahara, from the Syria, uh, from, from the Philippines, uh, as uh, refugees, asylum seekers, or as uh, labor migrants. Uh, and and uh, maybe that's also, I mean, has been recently uh, very much reported on the news. I mean, scenes of migrants are trying to cross to Europe. Uh, so Morocco is the crossroad of all this, I mean, global, uh, I mean, a movement from the south of the, I mean, world, world, southern part to the northern part of the world. And that's what makes you actually the, this program, I mean, being in Morocco is such a unique, uh, uh, I mean, place to be now to study uh, migration and uh, refugee, uh, I mean, issues, uh, but also the way the program approaches these issues because it, gets uh, helps the students uh, get uh, I mean in contact with the reality of migrants but also speak to policymakers to activists to international NGOs uh, who are working on this subject Wow that's a lot that the students get to do while they're with you in Rabat and you already answered my second question about the benefits of being there in Rabat Morocco studying this theme so I'm gonna uh, throw a hard question here at you right now. What would you say is the most exciting aspect of your program? I think the most exciting uh, part of, of the program is the excursions. We uh, go to three different excursions. Uh, two of the excursions take us uh, to uh, two of the main uh, migration sending zones in, in Morocco and uh, another international uh, excursion to the Netherlands. So we, the students really get to examine the issue of migration and refugees uh, from the various perspectives from within Morocco from, and, uh, but also they travel and cross the borders to the other side of the world and, and speak to uh, Moroccan diaspora uh, I mean, uh, in the Netherlands. So we spend around a week uh, in the Netherlands visiting NGOs, talking to migrants, uh, but also, uh, I mean, uh, talking to artists and, and um, I mean, looking at Moroccan diaspora from various perspectives. Uh, the uh, two excursions in Morocco, one take us to uh, the foot of the Atlas Mountains, where uh, the migration in the 90s started what is known in Morocco as clandestine migration. Basically, a lot of young people who started leaving and trying to cross the Mediterranean. So that's, I mean, uh, one, one excursion. And the other excursion take us to the borders with, uh, with the Spanish enclave uh, Melilla. So the students get to see also 
uh, what it's like to be on a border town. Uh, and, and we visit uh, basically the major northern cities uh, in an area called, I mean, in Morocco, the, the Reef Mountains. So we get to see two completely different regions in the country besides, uh, I mean, the international uh, excursion. And during those excursions, students get to interact in a daily basis with, with migrants and, and uh, they learn about their experiences, uh, I mean, through, I mean, the conversations they have with either, uh, I mean, migrants or policymakers or activists in all these three different regions. You can't really get more hands-on than that. And that sounds absolutely fascinating. I know recently I heard a report on Vermont's NPR right uh, from the border regions around uh, Ceuta and the other Spanish enclave town. So now, thank you for answering all of these questions. And I want to ask you, if there was one thing that you could say directly to our prospective student population about why they should consider studying in Morocco, what would it be? So I think it's the, that the this one thing is that the the, the uh, students get to see for themselves what is it, what is it like to be a refugee and a migrant or a labor migrant in Morocco today, uh, but also how do Moroccan policymaker makers uh, um, approach migration? Uh, what is the role of international in? Uh, organizations uh, because students get to visit uh, I mean uh, Af I mean the representatives of, of UNCHR the international migration organization and other local uh, associations but also meet with migrants themselves and refugees and and visit migrants associations who uh, so that's I mean all of this I mean uh, introduces to students to uh, um, the I mean uh, a very specific case but that, I mean local case but also uh, brings a lot of perspective in terms of how globally uh, the issue of migration is laid out in Morocco, uh, but also students get to meet policymakers to learn also about the Moroccan, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, implementation of uh, uh, I mean, policy on migration. So that's I mean one thing is that this access to first-hand knowledge that introduces the student to field work also on migration. So by the end of the semester, students get to uh, not only study migration but do an independent study uh, on, on migration because or, or refugees because they they spend the whole semester learning themselves how to. Uh, get to the field work and then uh, I mean towards the half of the semester they do their own ISP and they implement what they learned in the I mean first part of their semester. Yeah I, I, I want to sign up for the program now so well now um, if you could give us any sort of parting words uh, I, we've come to the end of our interview today but if you could give us any sort of parting words to the students who are contemplating a semester abroad in morocco and they're looking at your program about migration and identity what would you want them to know about life in morocco or life on the program I think they, they, uh, the, the one thing is that the, this program is located in a very interesting city in Morocco. It is the capital of Morocco, but also it's, 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 a, it's a city that is unique in terms of its architecture, in, in terms of its history. It has all the advantages of a big city without being to I mean big, but also it students have live in the I mean uh, um, uh, an old part of the town, so they get to experience uh, a 19th century uh, I mean uh, part of the city, which is uh, also I mean uh, very close to downtown. So the students I mean also live with Moroccan families, and they get to uh, interact with the families and a lot of their experience also is about living with a Moroccan family either in Robat or in the village stay. So, and they get also to, I mean, compare rural and urban Morocco through living, uh, uh, I mean, uh, with, with families from both settings, but also the experience crossing the borders to Europe 
uh, from Morocco, which which also makes it, I mean, interesting uh, experience when they travel to the Netherlands. Uh, and and so that's all for for a lot of students. I've seen students growing tremendously up. I mean, since they arrive until I mean before they leave. So it's both a challenging and, and very empowering and rewarding uh, experience, I would say, to for the students. Yeah, it definitely sounds that way. It sounds like it, it can put things into perspective for our own migration policies and problems and situations that we have here in the States. Yeah, exactly. A lot of students actually start comparing, um, I mean, American, uh, I mean, Mexican borders with the Moroccan Spanish uh, borders. I mean, there, there are a lot of similarities, similarities, but also in terms of undocumented migrants uh, that I mean, they meet in in Rabat. I mean, there are a lot of similarities with undocumented migrants here in, in the states. But also when we travel to the Netherlands. Students also, I mean, have, I mean, usually compare, I mean, compare the situations of migrants uh, here in the U.S. and that, I mean, their situation in in, in Europe. So there's definitely there are a lot of commonalities uh, because migration is an experience, is a universal experience, and it's, I mean, although I mean their routes are different, but people's experiences kind of is similar. Yeah. Yeah, well, thank you very much for taking your valuable time today. I know um, we keep you pretty busy when you come visit us here in Vermont. So I want to thank you very much, and I'll uh, let you know if any uh, prospective students uh, see this video and are interested in talking with you further about the program. Okay, thank you, Ian. Thank you very much. Have a good afternoon. Thank you. You too.